like the, it's kind of blurry looking. I don't know why. Anyway, it's Chris, otherwise known as Music City Driver. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I don't know why this is so freaking blurry. Sorry. Eh, it's a little bit better. Okay. Sorry, I guess I had something smeared on my lens. Anyway. So, I was driving home. Um, and I don't know if you guys tuned in this morning when I was doing a live broadcast, but I-40 East was shut down um, right at 840. They shut it down there, but the actual accident, um, so here's mile marker 176 I'm passing right now, but the accident actually happened back a ways, um, but it is still shut down. So I just want to let you guys know if you are traveling west, um, from the west, into Nashville via 40 East, you might want to consider taking a different route um, just because it is completely shut down still um, and apparently it may be shut down for the foreseeable future they were talking about this morning it will be open about three something here it is almost five o'clock the interstate is still shut down and apparently from what I heard I was just listening to the radio uh, the truck that caught fire this morning the fire caused some structural damage to the overpass that it was on and it even melted part of the roadway so they're having to do a lot of repairs to the roadway <clears throat> and fix the overpass before it's passable. So that means when I go to work in the morning, I probably don't need to take I-40. Um, I'll probably end up taking 100 or something like that. So <clears throat> either that or just going up into Dixon and hitting 70 until I get to whatever exit I need to. Um, as long as I get, I can't remember what exit though. They have it shut down for quite a ways. So um, there's no traffic coming this way at all. <laughs> It's pretty crazy. Like I said, they diverted onto 840 this morning because there was no other exit before that that they could divert to, I guess. And there was not really much warning either. Um, now that I know about it, I know not to take it, but this morning there was no indication that it was shut down except for some flag type looking signs that they put up that they, they didn't really uh, catch your attention too well in my opinion, um, and they didn't really warn you early enough for you to get off at an earlier exit so that you didn't have to get diverted onto 840, which takes you a long time, because if you go 840, you end up having to go 20, over 20 miles to Franklin, or the Franklin exit, rather, on I-65, <clears throat> and then go up I-65 to go into Nashville, so pretty long way. So anyway, just want to give you guys that update. Um, I said it's at a mile marker 176, which is the exit onto 840, is where they have it shut down. Before that, there's traffic now. Um, I'm near exit 172, which is the Dixon exit. Um, traffic is coming this way, but they're having to reroute everybody. So if you are before exit 176 headed east, <clears throat> I would advise you to get off the interstate unless you want to go on 840 and go around a weird way. So that's all I had, guys. Uh, just wanted to do a quick update on that. I just like to try to keep uh, people um, updated. Also, um, this is not really part of this, um, but earlier I put a video out about snow and ice, and it looks like it's even worse now, especially for where I live. In the western part of the Nashville area, uh, it looks like all of West Tennessee almost is under a winter storm watch <clears throat> now, and um, there's a possibility of like a quarter of an inch of ice and like two to four inches of snow for the western part which is where I'm located the city of Nashville itself has less a little bit less ice and only one to two inches of snow and then out towards like past Murfreesboro like toward, towards McMinnville Cumberland Plateau all those places it actually may not even um, ice at all so anyway just want to give you guys an update that's um that's it. Um, I may or may not be driving this weekend, depending on how much ice falls, because I'm not afraid of snow. I'm just afraid of ice underneath the snow um, and black ice, black ice especially, because um, you just obviously can't see it. So you guys be safe out there. If you are out driving, be careful. Um, and I will hopefully talk to you guys soon. I'll give you guys an update as it gets closer to the impending doom of the winter storm to let you know what it looks like um because this far out is kind of inaccurate really honestly um so the closer it gets the better we'll get for it so hope you guys enjoyed this um short little five minute video please like comment share and subscribe if you enjoyed it 
Um, like I said, I just try to give some things that are pertinent for the Nashville area. So, all right, guys, have a good one.